guys welcome back to my channel so today I have three delicious macaroni and cheese recipes the first one I have for you here is my chorizo and chili um, mac and cheese the next one I have is kale and mushroom mac and cheese I shared this on my Instagram and a lot of you requested this this is a very delicious and healthy alternative and lastly I have the jerk mac and cheese which is a kind of a nice little spin that I put on this so yeah my lovelies I'm going to show you how I made all of these and to start off with we're going to make the kale and mushroom macaroni and cheese so I have here my ingredients and I'm just going to talk you through what I have so I have some breadcrumbs over there which I've blitzed some cooked macaroni I've got some flour butter some mushrooms a mixture of cheddar cheese with light and vintage and some kale and of course we've got some milk. I'm actually using the Tickler cheese. I love this. This is by Costello and um, they have really good cheese. So I'm just chopping it up, which I'm gonna blitz inside my um, food processor. A food processor saves so much time as opposed to grating. So this is what it looks like when it has been, you know, Blitz. And I'm also doing that with some bread. Now you're probably wondering why bread. Bread adds a very nice texture to the mac and cheese and that's what you saw um, on the plate which I sprinkled some breadcrumbs all over it and it's nice when you bake it. So yeah let's get started. In a pan I'm just going to melt some butter. Guys make sure you melt it on medium heat. I was using high heat here which is not good because it could tend to burn the butter before it actually melted. Anyway I'm going to add my flour and give that a good sort of whisk. And just to take out any lumps of that raw flour taste. I'm going to add in a bit more flour here because I added too much butter. <laughs> and so this is what it should start to look like. And now I'm going to add in my milk. I'm going to give that a good whisk. I also added in just a tad bit of cream, single cream, but that's optional. So when that's done, I'm going to add in a bit of onion powder and a bit more milk so I can get to that nice creamy consistency. And then I'm going to add in like a quarter teaspoon of mustard. And then I'm going to add in my cheese and give that a good whisk. This is so therapeutic guys when you're constantly like giving it a good whisk. It's also an arm workout as well. <laughs> So when that's done, I'm going to add in some mozzarella. Mozzarella gives it that nice, thick, creamy sort of body. And I love it. But again, this is optional. You can use any cheese of your choice. So when that's done, I'm going to sprinkle some sugar. I like adding sugar to my macaroni and cheese along with salt. It adds a very nice balance to the you know, recipe. And there you have this, guys nice and gooey and cheesy so now i'm just going to add my cooked macaroni to the cheese mixture or the roux i believe that some would call it an interesting fact guys i only started eating macaroni and cheese early this year and i fell in love with it and anyone who knows me knows how much i was never a big fan of cheese but now i am anyway my loves this is what it looks like when it's all um mix, mixed in and now i'm just adding some onions in a separate pan to some oil and I'm just going to saute that for a minute or two just so the onions soften a bit. And then I'm going to add in my diced mushrooms. So in go the mushrooms. I'm just going to give that a good stir. And you're going to do this for about two to three minutes just so they can slightly soften. And this imparts a really nice flavour to the macaroni and cheese. And I don't add any salt, no black pepper, just saute it as it is and when that's done i like to transfer that into the macaroni and cheese mixture give that a good stir before i add in my kale now i like mine really cheesy so it's entirely up to you how you do this um, i'm also going to add in some kale i have here about half a cup of kale which I have steamed. I recommend steaming your kale beforehand. 
not so much that it gets soggy but just so it gets the right sort of texture because that brings out the flavor of the kale as well and when that's done i just like to apply it to a baking tray i made quite a lot of this and it was really really nice really delicious and then I just like to sprinkle some herbs, I'm sprinkling, sprinkling some oregano and some basil, you can use any type of herbs you like. And then I go in with my cheese and the breadcrumbs, <laughs> top it off with some mozzarella. And then when that's done, I bake it in the oven for a good 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like my lovelies, very creamy, very delicious. And you know, you can swap a bit of the ingredients if you're going for a more healthy option, but I have a lot more of that on my blog. So next one we have is the chili and chorizo, aka spicy sausage. Chorizo, I hope I'm saying this correctly, is a Spanish spicy sausage and is packed with a lot of flavour. So I'm going to use this. Alternatively, you could use bacon, but I wanted to try something different and impart a different flavour to my macaroni and cheese. So I'm just slicing that off and I'm using just half of that and I'm cutting these into cubes. You could grill these or you can fry them lightly with no oil as they have a lot of oil and that also imparts a lot more flavour to the uh, macaroni and cheese. So in a pan, as before, I'm adding in some butter and at this point also listening to some Tupac. <laughs> Jam into some tunes. And then now I'm going to add in my flour. You're probably wondering what happened to the lighting. My battery died so I had to film again the next day. <laughs> So this is what it looks like my lovelies, I've just added in some flour and now I'm going to add in some single cream. The cream gives it a nice thickness again, this is alternative, you don't need to, I mean this is optional so you don't need to do this, but it's just something different um, and I'll be adding in the mi milk later. So to that I'm going to add some white and black pepper, some sugar, again for a tiny bit of sweetness and some salt, that's really important in terms of balancing out the flavour. Um, at this point you can use some all-purpose seasoning if you like, if you want to pack in some oomph. But anyway, I'm adding in some smoked paprika, of course you've got to have smoked paprika for this. It imparts again a really nice flavour and I also added in a bit of chilli powder to that for that extra spicy kick. And when that's done, I add in my pasta, my cooked macaroni and I give that a good mix and just combining all of that together at this point in time it does look a bit you know should i say it has a very watery consistency but we're going to add in the cheese now and i'm adding in the mozzarella and giving that a very good stir so when that's done i'm going to add in the chorizo give that a good stir as well and at this point it smells amazing what you have is a really nice delicious thick and creamy macaroni and cheese and you could top it off again with some herbs you could use some thyme some rosemary anything like that definitely play around with this to you know see what suits you best so when that's done i add it to an oven proof dish separate that and spread that around nice and evenly evenly <laughs> And then I'm just going to crumble some cheese. I'm using my tickler cheese. And then when that's done, I'm going to pop it in the oven and cook for 25 minutes and five minutes in the grill. And this is what it looks like, guys. Nice. It has a golden, crispy sort of look to it. And guys, this is the final dish. It was so delicious. And I'm going to leave the ingredients in a link in the description bar and now onto the last one which is the jerk macaroni and cheese i wanted to try something different so decided to give this a go as you guys know flour added to some melted butter give that a mix and although the it seems quite milky this sort of um consistency it's because i'm going to add in some um all-purpose powder all spice and mean powder and a bit of nutmeg so I really want that to cook well with the butter and the flour and I need it to be this consistency otherwise if it's like the not if it's the way we do it normally oh, I'm never making any sense am I guys but yeah I just like to add that to this and um, butter melted butter and flour and really cook down that taste and this imparts a delicious and you know a really nice subtle flavour to the macaroni and cheese. So when all that's done I'm going to give that a good whisk 
to combine all of that well and then I'm going to add some sugar yet again I like to use brown sugar for this but I didn't have it so I substituted it for some white sugar and when that's done I'm going to add in my cheese I'm using a mixture of mozzarella just a tiny bit of mozzarella but I'm going more for the um the tickler medium to extra cheddar cheese and I'm just combining that well and then once that's done I'm going to add in my cooked macaroni I'm going to give that a good whisk or good mix in <laughs> and then now I'm adding in something quite different and this is a jerk paste this imparts a really really um delicious sort of strong fragrant flavor if that makes any sense and when all of that is done I like to add it into my oven proof dish and then I pop it into the oven but before that <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle on some more cheese and then now I pop it into the oven for another 30 minutes or so do check on it occasionally and when it's done my lovelies this is what it looks like it was so good and you know I really do hope you enjoyed watching this video I'm going to leave all the ingredients in a link in the description bar below definitely check it out my loves and yes until next time I'll see you all very very soon have a good day bye